guys, welcome to the awakening. Woo! <laughs> the tripod is on top of the streamer. I'm trying to get. <laughs> and today we're in the allotment, as you can see, uh, in Mother Nature. And so let's talk about Mother Nature and buttercups. Woo! Every time you move that. <laughs> And smoothies. <laughs> this is the life, guys. This is the life. Now, it's so important to get back to nature, to to be in nature, to touch the ground, to be connected to Mother Earth. So, how am I going to take you from the dark into the light? Well, if you're feeling low or depressed, get yourself an allotment. <laughs> um, you need to be breathing. You need to be breathing. And go to your parish councils, they're going like hotcakes. They're about 20 pounds. Oh, sorry. As I was saying, <laughs> before the streamer fell, this is my tripod. Um, the darkness is when you're stuck at home, when you can't breathe, when you're not breathing oxygen. <sighs> we need oxygen to live, guys. And there's so much proof out there for depression, for Alzheimer's, for all these man-made diseases that have come to us through pollution and through all sorts of things that I don't need to go into, but you know. Um, they recommend getting back into the earth, getting your hands in the earth, connecting. Because after all, guys, this is all we are. This is what we go back to be, apart from our spirit, the body. The body loves this because it recognizes where it comes from. This is where it comes from. After all, didn't they say that God made Adam from earth, from clay? Yeah? So this is what you need to do in order to get rid of depression, anxiety, when you're not grounded. Get yourself into the earth. Get your hands into the earth. Feel the connection. It's so strong. <laughs> it's a higher power. It can't hurt you. It can't let you down. Breathe. This is the light. Feel the roots of your whole body going into that earth. Strong, sturdy. You can trust the earth, can't you, Martin? Mm, yeah. Martin's here today as well <laughs> in the awakening. Uh, trying to figure out how to use the streamer. Hopefully we'll get it at some point. But the earth, when you do this, you cannot fail to feel the stability and it'll never let you down. Okay, that's the light. Your codependency goes away because nature has given us so much. Feel that earth, connect to that earth and breathe. You will feel stronger. You'll start to feel like a tree you'll start to feel so much stronger. You know, just meditate and breathe and feel the roots going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And, and you know, the beautiful thing about planting and flowers and nature, the light that comes out of all the things that, are, all the conditions that have been created for mankind through the opposite, through destroying oxygen by taking it from medicine and destroying oxygen. The beautiful thing is it brings back memories. I don't know about you, but since I've been going into the green and working on the allotment, I'm starting to get memories and I'm starting to get memories that need to be cleared out. So for example, I shared about the lawnmower and I don't feel that pain now. I don't feel that PTSD, that trauma that I felt as a five-year-old child. Have some buttercups. That song, all kinds of everything remind me of you. <laughs> Buttercups and something, butterflies and bees, something like that. All things, all kinds of everything. And, and the Lord God made them all, all kinds of everything. The, God, the Lord God made them all. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. You see? So, as I say, the, that to me is the answer for depression. 
is you need to get something that you feel you can really do. You know, whether it's your dream of making programs or music or building your, your talents. And if you can't do that at the moment, then get into your garden, you know, go to the park. Don't let yourself buy into the nonsense of the media. You have to be in oxygen. You have to be with trees and green and not inside a house locked up. It doesn't make any sense. So turn off the news, my darlings. Please turn off the news. Please. Tune into Moving On TV. And um, so, yeah, what else can I say about taking you from the dark into the light? Is of course the miracles says today I live by grace and this is the grace of God the grace of love gave us everything and because now we're in the awakening it's easy to pick up a piece of land for practically nothing to have your own herb garden who it's hot <laughs> and I believe that at some point we'll be able to use our land to build our own homes so you won't have any of this landlord stuff. Everything belongs to us. Everything belongs to us. We're all part of the same world, this beautiful planet. And no one has a right to take anymore because that's what's happened. To take and not let you have as well, that's not okay. I, I feel that we're gonna go back to the times when the Waltons, when they would turn up, get a piece of land and build, and everyone would do the same and share. Share the food, share the fruit, share the vegetables, share the compassion, share the love, build communities. I'm visioning this piece of land now as a house for me and my husband, and who, if my cats are still around, please go. Um, and who, you know, I envisage, I can envisage a house built here. It's big enough. It's big enough for a house. I don't need a big house. I just need two or three bedrooms. That's all, and a bathroom and <laughs> central heating because we're in Amer we're in England in America. We're in England, so it would be nice, you know, um, and a beautiful garden that we're creating now. I want to have a tree here. I want to have um, possibly an apple tree or pear tree. Where I grew up in Israel, you know, we had trees everywhere. We used to pick the fruit off the tree. We had pomegranates. Pomegranates are wonderful for you, especially men. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the awakening. Come on board, Moving On TV. Please subscribe, share and like. We're getting starting to get lots of views and I'm so excited about that. It's your TV station. It's the TV station to give you hope. It's what the mainstream used to be and now that's us. The mainstream used to give you hope. It used to give you programs to give you hope. It used to be your um, TV station. And it's here to cushion you when anything else happens. Because there's a lot coming. There's a lot coming. You need to prepare yourself. Um, stuff that we already, you know, we studied and I've been trying to tell you for years around celebrities, around the royals, around the governments, you know, stuff where these people really didn't care about you and you need to learn that. There's a lot coming and there's a lot of waking up to do. So take your red pill while it's still relatively small because in a few months you're going to have to take that. And some of you, I don't know if you'll make it if you don't start to realize that so if you're watching the awakening now i love you from the bottom of my heart i'm doing question and answers martin interviewed me and in these questions and answers um, i'm going to answer the basic questions and some more spiritual questions put them out there for you you can share them with your friends your relations people that are asking questions people that are struggling with the confusion um, and from all the research I've done and from my gut and my channeling, I, I know I'm equipped to do that now. It's a wonderful world on the way. Your children, your grandchildren, they'll say to you one day, Mom, Dad, Granddad, what was a war? <laughs> what was WAR? What does it mean? What was cancer? <laughs> what was tax? What did it mean to pay rent? Uh, what was a mortgage? <laughs> Who was a bank? Can you explain to me what money is? <laughs> because we're probably going to go back to gold and silver and bartering. So anyway, love you lots. Have a beautiful day. I haven't got the cards on me today, but my intuition is saying to me, 
nature. Get into nature, go for walks in nature, lie on the green, feel, just feel that beautiful energy. Breathe it in. That's it. That's it. That's all you need to do. And make sure you hydrate. I've got a smoothie here. I'll tell you what's in it. I made it with my blender. Today I learned that um, if you make ble uh, if you want to make celery and beetroot and things, you have to cut them down really small, or else they'll be all mushy. So today I have celery. I have cinnamon. Cinnamon's wonderful for keeping the blood sugar balanced. If you've got blood sugar levels like me, they're not really good. Um, so cinnamon for diabetics as well, really good for diabetics. Um, but don't give up your insulin. I'm not telling you that. <laughs> I'm not telling you to do anything. This is me, what I do. But do your research, you know. You can have it in conjunction. So um, I use celery. I use uh, fennel. I, I have um, radish. Radish is wonderful for the thyroid. It's iodine. Iodine. I've got iodine in here. I've got vitamin D, huge dosages that Rebecca's put me on. Uh, vitamin C, black seed oil, banana, pear. I peel the pear, you know, because it's not organic. Um, you can wash everything in bicarbonate soda and that gets rid of geoengineering and chemtrails. And then I put that with some juice and ice because this that thing blends ice. I mean, there it is. Absolutely amazing. Green juice, which has got um, boom, 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 wheatgrass, which is oxygen, pure oxygen. I feel teeth inflammations with that. Love you lots. Stay hydrated. Make sure you bring your food. I've got my food. We got this lovely Tupperware thing. I know it's plastic, but... Sorry about that, it's what they have at the moment and I need something to put my food in. And I've got some gluten-free bread and hummus and feta and, and some gluten-free um, cake because I'm more or less vegan now. But um, I don't recommend veganism 100%. We're all different. So I do have a bit of fish, a bit of egg, occasional tiny bit of meat. Love you lots. Ah! Thank you. Ah. <laughs> That's a funny one. About 20 pounds. For how many acres would you say this is? I don't understand, probably half an acre. You get all this land. Um, and so get to your parish counselling. This counselling council. Today the awakening is at our allotment. There's our shed, which needs a lot of work, bless it. But it's so cool to have something when you've lived for so long without your own home, renting and that's the darkness guys that's the way the world was now look at it now look what's come from the lockdown look at one of the silver linings is that they the parish councils know that people need to get back to the earth we need to grow things we need to be in nature we need to breathe oxygen lauren hard at work what a hero okay heroine of gardening the new awakening with Lauren this is how life is going to be Lauren doing some hard work while we get the benefits and live off the profits that she makes for us Can you video it yeah Okay, so as you can see, there's holes in the ground. Yeah. It's not very safe to hear, it's okay, but then it gets wonky. So we need to patch that up, yeah? So we'll put some wood there. Then the, you've got here, underneath, there's holes in the shed. Mm -hmm. So we need to patch all of that up. Either either you could cover it up with, with the polythene. Mm. You could just get some polythene. <laughs> Martin just whacked the streamer and the <laughs> it felt so everything fell down. So take care. Enjoy the awakening. Bye. 
And there he is. Shall he get it? One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Take off! <laughs> go, on, Martin, go. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to the awakening. And it's gone off. <laughs>